Hey y'all, welcome back to another part in this series, which has like a super long title, which is Dream Home Decorator slash Discovery University Let's Play. <laughs> so I've got our girls up and early. You may have those that two sim days I think have passed. So I did the gym decoration. I think it was the gym. <laughs> yeah, the gym one. And it was, it was weird. Um, she didn't give the much to work with so I did whatever and I just basically left before I didn't do the whole reveal to the client situation I literally just was like I'm going home and after that it showed that we actually succeeded the three things for the uh, build the renovation was she liked the color yellow blue and white the gym pretty much was those colors. So I did that and then I took a day off from the gig stuff and was just hanging out with the family. It was really nice seeing them all again, but that was, it was very stressful being in that house. It was like so messy. I had to go in and hire a maid. I don't know if they're no longer playing on the lot, if the maid will work or not, but I had to ha have them hire a maid. They were just like eating and a bunch of, like there was just like a whole bunch of like dirty dishes on the counter. Anyway, I decided to go with the cafe. It's the same family that we struggled with in the very first part of the series where they died, but it's a commercial renovation again, because I really want to give these a go. Um, so let's go ahead and head to work. Perfect timing. Um, this is a house. This is not no cafe. What is this? What? Th she said a hello. This is not a cafe. What cafe renovation? All right, let's show portfolio. This is so confusing. This, I thought it was gonna be like a commercial space. Where am I putting a cafe in here? Ecstasy mood board. Where, where do they want a cafe in here? It says cafe renovation. Let's be, what? I shouldn't have taken this gig. These people are weirdos. Where is, where, where are y'all putting a cafe? I guess we'll have to put it in like this room. So they like fitness. This is supposed to be a cafe renovation and they dislike mix mixology. Okay, that, that makes total sense. And they want gardening decor, likes painting. Okay. Hello, I am on behalf of this. Where, where, this is not, this is not a cafe. This is not a cafe. I was, I was fooled into coming back into this house and I did not like it. This is not a cafe. This is not a cafe. Then again, what did I expect? I don't even have any cafes. So let me just suggest a different style, decor style. And then after that, I'm just going to send him away. Once all this stuff is done, he can, he can skedaddle. I didn't know that Zoelle's final exam was today. It seems to be the only final exam that she'll have to take. Alrighty, I don't know where I'm putting a cafe. This appears to you you this this appears to be the front door. They have like two front doors. Where am I putting a cafe? Let me go here take before photo i don't know i guess we'll put something outside this is supposed to be i'm just a little bit thrown off though i sh I, I why am i surprised when honestly and truly <laughs> what did i expect this literally is a like i don't have any cafes placed i should probably put down some more like residential buildings or something i mean commercial buildings in my world in my neighborhood I feel like if I put the things they like, you can't go wrong. I want you to count how many times I said this is not a cafe <laughs> throughout this video because it's not a cafe. Um, it's supposed to be a cafe, but they dislike misology and the only decor they like is garden decor, which is absolutely nothing when you really think about it. Like what is garden decor? It's literally just some random items across like two packs which is seasons i believe and toddler toddler stuff pack so i ended up making them like an outside backyard seating area they have a really big pool i think if i remember correctly so but they didn't have a seating area so i don't know i went with modern because i feel like you can't go wrong with modern and instead of getting that table that already has the umbrella in it i kind of wanted to use that umbrella thing <laughs> really know i guess it's an outdoor cafe where you just sit outside you don't really get drinks or anything because mixology is not a part of this cafe they just like mixology here but they love fitness and love painting 
Um, I think I ended up putting the I paint uh, easel on the porch in that empty space there. I'll be fitting a, filling around with these planters and looking at paintings. But what I ended up putting there is just an easel. My thought process was they would enjoy painting outside. But other than that, this was this was a hot mess, and I am so tired. I am so tired, so so tired of these random gigs like this game is so much fun but what kills it is when every other gig or like every two gigs or so you got something that just like doesn't make any sense like you don't know what you're walking into you literally have no idea what kind of clients you're gonna get whether or not it's gonna be successful so yeah once again venting my frustrations with this stuff back game pack i mean please let me know in the comment section below how do y'all really feel about this pack? Because it's fun, but it does have this very disappointing moments as well. Okay, this is what I came up with, y'all. A part of my thought process is just that maybe they wanted something in their outdoor area because honestly, I don't know what else to do for this. Um, it said cafe and that just kept throwing me off. And at this point, we just gone. We just gonna keep it going. Like, we're not gonna stress. So I just put like fitness. I put like a little easel up here. I was just like, this is actually a very beautiful house that I, I was like an artist who had like pets. This is the kind of house I would, I would want. And I've kind of decided that for renovations that I'm not very pleased about I'm just going to not waste my time I'm gonna I'm not gonna waste my time hosting the reveal because if I don't feel confident if I don't feel confident about the space I'm not gonna force myself to kind of like sit through some like re big reveal or whatever so I'm just gonna call the clients to the lot literally as soon as it says I'm like no thanks and if we failed we fail I don't really care because <laughs> this, this made no sense and surprisingly this worked okay well we made some good money from that anyway it looks like we also got promoted so now we're a home organizer um, we get 900 and new clothes. We should definitely go check out new clothes. I also got a phone call from a client the other day. I don't know if it'll show up today. She wanted me to come and do her thing again. I'm kind of nervous to like do some of these because I'm like, this, this is, a, this, this, there's no way this is a club. There's no way this could be a library. It's probably going to take me to their house. Oh, now we have renovations let's say a living room and kitchen Ooh, we would love a nursery in our home we aren't necessarily expecting at the moment but we would just like to be ready for anything that is so funny that they want a nursery a bathroom addition room renovation fabulous walk-in closet fabulous who is this family oh, this is not a family but i don't know uh, I kind of want to do a living room. You know what? Let's do a living room. This one is a combination. So it says, this place is pretty old and built with old design aesthetics. We think our living room and kitchen could be opened up and allow more natural light in the area. That support beam. Don't worry about it. The house is supported by the trust I have in you. But they want a little bit of both. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is this 14,000 simoleons? 14,000 simoleons? That is the pay? I'm tired of this house, so I don't want to do this house anymore. Um, <laughs> I'm annoyed about this. I'm like annoyed with this family. Like, why do they, why do they seem to be like the only family calling me for gigs? You know what? Let's do the living room, the Ramirez family. Looking for a living room. I feel like I could spread out, you know? Sit comfortably, watching TV. Feel free to make use of the space. Simoleons is no object. Okay, so that's what we'll do. And I think I'll do another one today in this part, y'all, because... <sighs> That was a waste of our time. Let's go home and check in on Zoelle. I know this is like her like last two days of classes. I felt like that went by way, this like this term went by, by, this term went by so fast. I might have her take an extra class next semester. It, no, I don't think it's gonna help us. We'll have to see though. 
Alrighty, it's the next day and the house hasn't even loaded. I can't even explain it to y'all. But as you can see, it's actually Harvest Fest today. So <laughs> we're working on a holiday, which I typically don't do. But I need to actually be a lot better at monitoring our calendar. So we do have a ho holiday on Saturday, which is Halloween. So we won't do anything that day. Um, I did, I think I hinted that I was kind of ready to leave our house that we had, but I actually do like the house that we have. I mean, obviously this home is, is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I definitely got this off of the gallery and it looks like they've moved in some random family I've never heard of. This is Olivia Ramirez. It looks like we just have her. It looks like they have a young son and they have, well, a teen and they have a father. Or is this his wife? Interesting. Okay. There's like a lot of people that actually live here. Okay. We haven't actually eaten, so I may have her just kind of eat while we're doing this. But uh, let's get to know the family a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and ask to see mood board. Alrighty, we are back. And let's just say that that was the most painful experience ever. The Ramirez family, they were just a tad bit on the annoying side. So they didn't really give me much of what they liked at first. I really had to press and click on almost the entire family. And it's such a large family. It has two adults, two young adults, and a teen so it's a pretty large family living on this lot so it's very difficult to talk to all of them because you know once you start a car conversation with more than two sims it becomes like a group combo and I felt like I was getting pulled every which direction and they were cooking so much in the middle of all of that what I got was they dislike mid-century decor, they dislike modern, they dislike island, they like the color white, they like boho, they like Cosmo Lux, they like the colors blue and white. This is the space that we are working with. Let's see if we can transform this, okay? I think I I always say that I'm gonna do like talk through it with y'all and then I change my, my mind like midway through. I'm like, oh, never mind. I think I'll just do the voiceover. <laughs> I tried to push myself with this build because I wanted to create a space for like the family to obviously gather together, make it more modern. Um, as opposed to like the typical fashion for mansions like I feel like it's either a modern mansion a farmhouse mansion or like this like Queen Anne slash like French country decor mansion I try to play around with like the new sectionals because I'm trying to obviously make these gigs interesting by actually encompassing the new dream home decorator pack items but it's a little bit confusing for me like how the modules like work i've seen some really amazing stuff by other simmers and obviously like i got this pack to really push myself to become like a better decorator and like push myself to like try new things um but yeah sometimes i struggle i think i need to practice on my own at home before i like go out and try them at gigs because then i just embarrass myself when i try to make like a whole TV setup, um, but I decided to add a TV in here instead of a fireplace because obviously they wanted a more modern open space like a you know like more young looking space more young and modern maybe like more lighter colors so the walls and the flooring I think do change throughout the build but I, I did that last because I really wanted to just like get the space together because I was like I when it comes to flooring and wallpaper I struggle a lot with those things like I'm really indecisive on what looks good and what doesn't look good so I ended up going back to that at the end but I really wanted to include lots of like boho Cosmo Lux, blue all the favorite things I would have included something with fitness in here, honestly, but the living room was just a weird shape. So I ended up just trying to like leave it as like a sitting room slash like entertainment space. So like we have like obviously the TV on the wall. We have the sectional couches and an extra chair, like just trying to make it more modern, more brighter and more entertainment space. Cause that's really all I could do with the space. Like it's such a weird shape for a living room. Plus you have the door that leads out to the backyard. But I think this space turned out really great. And I think I host the reveal. So definitely stick around to see how my clients enjoy this new reno. Alrighty, this is what I was able to kind of like 
come up with um this was a struggle i feel like they gave me they gave they definitely gave me enough to work with but this at the same time was not enough to work with um i feel like this this area looks so different from the rest of the house it's brighter it's like the rest of the house looks obviously like more older manor style they wouldn't let me add a wall i kind of wanted to kind of just like close off this space because i can't imagine how awkward this would be i kind of do want to like host the reveal and get their reactions in person but I'm nervous that they're not going to like this again. So, and we've already spent so much time here. I don't really feel like wasting up the rest of our holiday in this house. So we're just going to take our pictures and get out of here. Because I feel like we, it's a holiday. I'm pretty sure they want to enjoy their holiday as well. <laughs> look how much, look at what they were cooking. They made a burnt cake. They made, they were in the process of making, I don't even know what this stuff is. It won't let me click on it, I think, to see what it is. A white cake, another white cake, and another white cake. For some strange reason, they kept making a whole bunch of like white cakes. So maybe that's just their harvest fest traditions is to just make a whole bunch of like white cakes um, but yeah we're about to go and enjoy harvest fest with our sister we spend way too much time here on this lot oh perfect we got a plus in all of our classes our term gpa is a plus our overall gpa is a plus perfect um would you like to sign up for another term yes might as well just do this one time and done why don't we let's see she needs to complete four six classes so we could continue doing three classes either way she will have two semesters left if we do four classes now she'll have two more left the next semester so we're better off doing three classes um yeah, I don't know if I ever explain. I can't recall if I've explained that her degree is in language and literature and she's focusing on research and debate because she wants to become a private attorney. We're all set. She's staying at home. It looks like we're getting another full ride to college. She's got a whole bunch of scholarships, so that's paying for all of our classes and then some. So we actually got money back from that. Um, perfect okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna just switch off to her but we're actually going to end the pot here look at us so <laughs> gorgeous so happy <laughs> loving it um, thanks so much for watching guys I'll see y'all in the next one let's see what we get ourselves up to cuz whoo these gigs are not easy